The two leaders announced 15 billion U.S. dollars worth of agreements, and that came with another decision on the same day. China announced it will issue 4 billion in euro-denominated sovereign bonds, the first Chinese issuing of euro-denominated bonds in 15 years. Regarding the agreements he and Macron reached, President Xi said major projects coming up include those in nuclear energy and aerospace. Two documents also were signed on protecting biodiversity and tackling climate change. In the culture and communication sphere, the two sides will focus on their upcoming cultural exchange year of 2021, while encouraging more Chinese people to travel and study in France. Some Chinese experts will also go to France to help repair the Notre Dame Cathedral. This year marks the 50th anniversary of China-France diplomatic ties. President Xi noted that France was the first Western country to formalize such relations with China. He called on the two countries to take more responsibilities in maintaining international order and multilateralism, as the world undergoes changes rarely seen in a century. The two countries should maintain their traditions of independent policies and jointly safeguard the international system with the United Nations at the core. The international order based on international law as well as the multilateral trading regime with WTO rules as the cornerstone. We advocate mutual respect and equality while standing opposed to law of the jungle and winner-takes-all practices as well as hegemony. And Xi's attitude for openness was echoed by Macron who said China's opening up presents great opportunities and French companies should take their chances with the Chinese market. The French president is on a three-day state visit to China. On Tuesday, he also attended the opening ceremony of the second China International Import Expo in Shanghai. Chuck Tinte, CGTN.